welcome back to the channel guys today we are going to dive into some mud tracks products we got blake here with us from real talk power sports 500 that he was on yesterday as you can see it is super muddy it's been baking in the sun and this isn't like oh man yeah this isn't like normal mud this is like sand yeah so we are going to show you today we're going to show you the inferno wash and show you how quick and easy it is to clean this with no touch with a foam cannon and a pressure washer so on the back here it says for no touch foam cannon four ounces of wash solution into the foam cannon then fill them with water for extreme foam add six ounces of concentrate um i think we're gonna do right in the middle at five Okay, I do want to mention the fact that Blake has never used this product. He's seen it, we've talked about it and discussed it, but he's never used it yet. So we filled it the rest of the way up with water. We've got the foam cannon settings. The top setting is all the way up. And the front setting is almost all the way squeezed together. And now we're just simply going to foam the machine. We're going to let it rest for like two to three minutes, and then we'll just spray it off. Okay, so we've sprayed the thing. We sprayed the thing. So we've sprayed the Sea Force 500 down. And as you can see, it's already just melting the stuff away. So now that it's sat, Blake's gonna pressure wash it off. Let's see how clean it is when he's done. We just got through washing this and look at all that junk. And what's so impressive is, is we didn't do any pre-washing, no pre-soaking. Normally after we mud ride, you know, if you go deep, you know, mud riding, especially in Mississippi, uh, it just it gets piled in that red clay is I just take a, a water hose, not a pressure washer, and use that volume to really break off and move all them big chunks of clay and mud and all that. And so, but dude, this chemical, the Inferno wash, it literally just melted everything off. And all this up here that just had, you saw how Justin broke that stuff off a while ago and he had to really crack at it to get it. But it was like that stuff just melted it away, took it right off and I just sprayed it. And that's an old sprayer uh, I got off Amazon uh, forever ago, electric sprayer. So it's not like it's a high pressure pressure washer, but uh, it does decent. But uh, so that stuff, the chemical really worked well. I'm super impressed. Like, I haven't touched it with a rag or nothing. And uh, it has done an amazing job. And there you have it guys, Mud Tracks Inferno Wash, Concentrate, Foam Cannon on, sprayed off like Blake said, no brushes, no rags, no wash mitts, nothing used on this except for the product and water. Now you can simply dry it off or let it air dry and you're ready to go show it off again. So now we're gonna showcase the Inferno to go, a 16 ounce ready to use bottle with a sprayer. 
All right, one thing that's real frustrating, uh, get when you're mud riding or out the park and getting mud on the seats, really hard to clean seats. Um, but so we'll see how this does right here. This look, we've done wiped it off. I mean, it's like etched in there. So we'll see how the Inferno to go does. I'm just gonna spray a little bit. Let it sit for just a second, I mean, not long at all. And we'll see if it really lifts this stuff up. <laughs> what, that's, that's insane, dude. That's insane. Normally I gotta take like some industrial strength degreaser. Y'all seen me, if, if you've watched Real Talk Power Sports, I like to use B52, which is some really strong stuff and you don't wanna leave it on your machine very long. And uh, it ain't never worked that good. That's what do you think? I, I like it, man. That was impressive. I was just going to ask you, man, where, when when can I get mine? I, I, that's all I want to know. I want mine. Goes on sale Friday. All right. Well, I want to be one of the first ones to order. Uh, you will be. Okay, next up, Mud Tracks PVR. It stands for plastic, vinyl, and rubber. This is a conditioner and protectant. So this is great to make all of your uh, black plastics, your seats, anything that's covered in um, plastic, vinyl, or rubber, obviously, uh, will make it look like new. It will also help protect, and the great thing about it is it's water-based, so you don't have to worry about dust, uh, mud sticking to it, any of that once it's stored or put up. Um, I know there's a lot of products out there that will clean your plastics up and make them look nice. Uh, for about 20 minutes until it starts getting dusty and then all of that stuff sticks to it. That's because those are silicone based products versus ours, which is a water based product. So we got Blake here from Real Talk Power Sports and he is going to demonstrate this for us on his Seaforce 800XC. Awesome. So I just need to spray and uh, I'm going to just spray two good pumps here. And, uh, well, that was three. <laughs> Didn't have it primed up. So I'm gonna move it around. There was a little bit of water um, stains over there. Let's peel this up and show you oh, yeah. the difference. So this is the PVR side. This is the side before. What did you just do? Just wiped it because uh, it's not sticky like some other products that I like to use. So I don't guess dust and stuff, dust and stuff won't stick to it. So it's that'll dry, be very nice. Yeah, dry to the touch. Very nice. And you can see, I mean, it's definitely a defined line there of, man, it just really makes that black plastic pop like it did when I first bought it. Welcome back to the channel guys. My name is Justin. Today I am super, super excited. So today is not gonna be anything 950 related, anything CF Moto related. It is going to be off-road related, however. We are headed to Brandenburg, Kentucky right now, which is pretty much the home base of uh, mud tracks. Tomorrow, well, as I'm driving down there now, it's tomorrow, but as you, when you see this video, it will be today. As of now, Mud Tracks is officially launched. Officially. Mudtracks.com. You can go there, you can check out the products. Still building out the site a little bit. There's still some things I want to add, some tweaks I want to make. Um, it's just kind of uh, bare bones right now in order for us to get it launched. But, man, this has been months and months and months of 
work and uh, stress and money and to see the whole thing finally come together it's a great feeling and I think you guys are going to be really impressed by what we have to offer and what mud tracks can uh, do for your off-road vehicles and I cannot wait to share this with y'all so uh, come on with me down to Kentucky